Okay, what's up? I'm Thomas from the Fall of Troy, and I'm going to do a little bit of talking about my favorite record, which is Nirvana in Utero. Um, it's definitely a record that I grew up on living in Seattle. Um, I was exposed to Nirvana pretty young, and this album came out... In, in my memory of, like, hard rock music, this is the first album I can remember coming out and me hearing, and I just liked everything about it. I liked the sound of it. I really like Steve Albini's production. Um, I like the I like the artwork. I like um, every single song. I don't think there's like a weak link on this album. Um, I also think it's very versatile between songs like Scentless Apprentice and Milk It, and then songs like Dumb and All Apologies and uh, stuff like that. It's just a very diverse, eclectic album um, that has definitely influenced uh, our band. I think more in a mentality kind of sense than maybe the way that it actually sonically sounds. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really awesome, noisy rock and roll record with very good, simplistic songs on it. Um, I just think it's a personal taste thing. I like the production better on this album. I think um, they were after after Nevermind, Nevermind was so polished and was so big, I think Kurt... I mean, I think the whole band wanted to take it a more abstract direction, and I'm a little more drawn to that. I think it's a little more interesting than just, uh, you know, doing Nevermind over again. I know my sister gave it to me. Um, I must have been in maybe four, fourth grade or something like that, so I was probably ten years old, nine or ten years old. Um, Probably in my in my downstairs on my little my little uh, CD player that my dad got me for Christmas one year, like when CD players were like pretty new still. So I was pretty excited about it. So I was like getting all these CDs from people, and my sister gave me In Utero because um, she didn't really like it at the time or something. She does like it, but like she was, you know, she was into something else at the time. So she gave it to me. He was pretty brilliant, but. You never know. I mean, I don't. I, he, he doesn't strike me as the kind of person that would have done anything other than what he wanted to do. So I don't know. He might have made some great records. He might have. I don't know. It is kind of the way it is because it is the way it is, though. I guess.